Hi, my name is Professor Silver, and you're watching Pokemon Explained, where we focus on the narrative arcs of all our favorite characters from the Pokemon anime. In today's class, we'll break down the complete history of Jesse's Lickitung, detailing all its battles, storylines, and character development. Jessie first met Lickitung in Princess vs. Princess. Much to her dismay, Lickitung ate all the gifts she had purchased for Giovanni. Jessie sought revenge with Arbok, but Lickitung paralyzed it with Lick. In a fit of uncontrolled rage, Jessie captured Lickitung. After its capture, Jessie paid Lickitung no mind, resumed shopping, and entered the Queen of the Princess Festival. She had hoped to win a one-of-a-kind doll collection that she had yearned for her entire life. Jessie battled her way to the finals, where she faced Misty in a four-on-four. After Pikachu swept wheezing Arbok and Meowth, Jessie considered forfeiting the match. She cared so little for Lickitung that she forgot she captured it until Meowth reminded her. Surprising everyone, Lickitung launched an epic comeback by licking Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and Vulpix into submission. Down to her last Pokemon, Misty accidentally summoned Psyduck. Psyduck proved immune to Lick's effects. Jessie tried changing strategy by commanding Tackle, but Lickitung refused to listen. It kept licking until it gave Psyduck a headache and activated its psychic powers. Using confusion, Psyduck blasted away Lickitung and Team Rocket, winning this the match. In typical Pokemon fashion, no one in the audience cared that their runner-up had just been blasted into the stratosphere. After the battle, Lickitung extended an olive branch to Jessie by dressing as one of the dolls she would have won. Jessie accepted the gesture, but still never warmed to Lickitung or bonded with it like she did Arbok. She disliked Lickitung's clueless demeanor, gluttonous personality, and slimy tongue so much that Lickitung didn't reappear for 36 episodes. It returned in the Orange Islands, where it started to periodically appear in Jessie's schemes and battles. All of its major appearances were rife with abuse. Lickitung was brainwashed and mega-punched by Butch and Cassidy's Drowsy, blasted off by a furious Nidoking for trying to kidnap its children, tricked into tackling James's Victory Bell by Tracy Scyther, treated like a napkin by Ash's Snorlax, and tortured while powering a Robo Rhydon. On a brief deluge to Pallet Town, Lickitung fought Ash's Muck in a tense situation. Though its tongue was no match for Muck's toxic skin, Victory Bell put Muck to sleep before the battle concluded. Gary's Nido Queen arrived soon after and tossed Lickitung like a rag doll. In Johto, Lickitung continued its role as a punching bag and never presented much of a threat. Ash put its tongue at bay by using ranged attacks from Pikachu and his starters and by using Chikorita Vine whip. During the saga, Lickitung was also beaten by a scissor and struck by a Farfetch'd. The closest thing to a win was its beatdown of a Blissey who refused to fight back. In the whistle stop, Lickitung used Supersonic for the first and only time to confuse a herd of Ladybug. In that same episode, Lickitung also stomped on the twerps, showing Jesse's personality was rubbing off on it. Lickitung exited the cast in Tricks of the Trade, having done little of note. Jesse accidentally traded Lickitung to a trainer named Benny in exchange for his Wobbuffet. She didn't notice the trade until Wobbuffet emerged from Lickitung's Pokeball. Though it upset Jessie to gain a Wobbuffet, she didn't seem to care that she had lost Lickitung. Jessie never tried to retrace her steps or retrieve Lickitung from its new owner. She seemed to have no issue abandoning it. In glaring contrast to Jessie, Benny welcomed Lickitung's licks. The twerps had no idea Benny's Lickitung was the same one they previously battled. Under Benny's control, Lickitung showed it held no personal malice towards Ash, Misty, and Brock. Whether Benny ever evolved it or used it in battles is a complete mystery. For Lickitung's sake, I hope it never returns to Jesse's team. Life with Jesse was a life of abuse. With Benny, Lickitung could be itself without fear of reprisal. Wherever Lickitung may be, I'm sure it's living a life of leisure filled with honey. Lickitung never won another match after its debut. To recap, Lickitung won against Arbok, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and Vulpix. It lost to Psyduck, Drowsy, Nidoqueen, Nidoking, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charizard, Scyther, Scizor, Chikorita, and Farfetch'd. Its stubby legs and slow waddle made it an easy target for attack. Speed, brute strength, ranged attacks, and vine whips all rendered its tongue ineffective. Over the course of the series, Lickitung used Lick, Slam, Tackle, Wrap, Supersonic, and Stomp. Jesse could enhance its moveset by teaching it Power Whip for good thrashing, Belly Drum to strengthen its tongue, and Roll Out so it could evolve into Licky Licky. Though we'll probably never see Jesse's Lickitung again, a new Lickitung could easily join the cast as one of Go's many Pokemon. 
only time will tell. And with that, class is adjourned. I'll be back next week with another episode of Pokemon Explained. If you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. I'd love to hear which Pokemon you want to see next. I'm open to all of them. It's been an absolute pleasure sharing with you today, and now I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know how you envision Lickitung's return and where you think it ranks on Jesse's team. Until then, catch you later.